Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to this intuitive guidance in, um, that's really coming about uh, to support you as we approach our Virgo full moon. So with the full moon, we're already feeling the energies. Um, it's the 6th right now of March as I record, and it's 1.21 um, in the afternoon. And I felt a strong pull. I, I thought that I was coming here to record some interactive guidance um, that is going to be released in about 24 hours or less than that now um, here on YouTube. So please do check that out. The images um, have been shared through Instagram and Facebook. So do check that out and come back for that message, which will be a little more personalized guidance. I feel that this is to collectively speak about what we are moving through. And I feel that because I've been guided to this space to connect with you now today, that this weekend, as we approach the super Virgo full moon, my yearly moon, it's very exciting. And I've been really drawn to the polarities of the Virgo energy and the Pisces energy. You know, Pisces the dreamer, um, head in the clouds, you know, um, this real fantastical imagination. And you've got Virgo, which can be very analytical, can be quite a taxing. Uh, energy and yet at the same time it's very much uh, an energy about service, um, how we are here to serve, how we support and serve ourselves, um, the healing energy, the divine feminine mother energy and so I feel like this is the energy that's really calling us forward, wanting to merge through our physical vessel so that we can birth our beautiful vision of heaven on earth. So with that being said, I'm strongly guided to work with the um, heart chakra singing bowl. So we're going to do that just to connect in with the heart space. I smudged before I started recording and, um, oh, it's not burning now, but it's, uh, it, it, I just smudged. I can still smell it here. And I was guided to get the heart chakra singing bowl. <sighs> to really offer support in your ability to live from your heart, to navigate from the heart space. And plenty of time, the heart space will have us going against the perceived grain and yet I'm just seeing a piece of wood you know um, the grain in wood it's so different like and sometimes it's so the the more different it is it's what really calls to the beauty of that wood right it, it really enhances the beauty of the wood and if you're making a table or something if you're sanding it the more you sand it, the more that unique patterning comes out. And this is, it feels like us. We are each on the verge or the cusp of something really unique and beautiful and supportive to us. And I feel excitement about that, a lot of excitement. And I also have a little bit of a difficult time catching my breath when I'm saying this and it kind of feels like the collective where you know so many are it's in the space of like wanting to breathe deeper and yet having a difficult time perhaps exhaling releasing and letting go because the exhale is the release and letting go and then we you know we're perhaps the breath is catching as we're bringing it in so the singing bowl is going to support us today in really connecting with our heart. And this is what this Virgo full moon 
is calling us to do. And I feel like right up to the time of the equinox on the 20th um, and 21st of March, this is about catching your breath. Um, and, and I feel like it's a broken record in many ways because it's like I feel a need for a retreat. And perhaps that's just personally. I feel, though, strongly that the retreat is collectively needed, at each into their own home space, each into their own heart space, and to uh, to implement more trust, to create a more smooth flow of breath in, you know, inhale, welcoming, exhale, releasing, and releasing and letting go into the flow. deep breaths here together. Nice big inhale. Exhale, release. And again, a nice big inhale. And one more together. And what was coming through with the singing bowl, and I don't know if you noticed from when it started to when it completed, we are going to do it again. Because when initially it started, it was very hesitant. It was very hesitant to really allow its sound to be heard. It was almost like the, the bowl was resisting. And this is really speaking about the collective energy, this resistance. And even what I'm hearing now is the resistance to, um, to I don't want to say hold back. It's like to pull back, the resistance to retreat a little bit. Retreat supports the expansion. And consciousness that has been expanded cannot then contract. It stays at that expanded, um, um, that expanded space, that expanded level. And as you allow for retreat, as you allow for uh, the breath to complete, um, they're just giving me some that saying the breath to complete. As you really focus into that space, that's why, because they, they want to bring the focus to that space, to the quality of our breath, because really our breath supports us, right? Once the breath stops in the physical form, you know, the heart stops beating, the breath stops, 
the physical body dies and then is let's say advanced is uh, transitions to another um, not even form another level of energetic existence and energetic experience what is going to most um, support each of us as we navigate chaos and chaos is really I just want to say chaos is like the ego gone wild and so instead of you know um, be the wild child and the wild child is the one who chooses to stay in peace chooses to stay unique knowing all have that ability i hope i'm making sense like i'm sitting here talking to myself but it's going to be 11 11 right now so i trust that this is resonating and making sense that we're we're changing we're changing we are we are changing through our connection to our experience we are changing through our connection to mother earth and now is a highly important time that we consciously make the connection of our heart to mother earth because with the virgo full moon coming we you don't want to be like up here or swimming in the currents uh, perhaps like swimming upstream with the you know pisces virgo energy we really want to be grounded we want to be that that loving nurturing mother that mutable virgo energy that knows life in physical form is transient knows you know feels the call feels the call the yearning to be more fluid to be more in the flow because when we allow ourselves to be in the flow we are incredibly supported beyond our belief and I had a really powerful experience today um, and it was like a channel a love letter from my eternal beloved and I know that that you know t that might sound like completely he it even came out in what I was writing like batshit wacky <laughs> and yet uh, I know that when I uh, reread that and I trust that some point in time these messages that I receive from him will be compiled and shared because it's really time that and he was a Virgo we're both Virgos we shared the same birthday and he was very he was very much the logical mind very much the left brain and and beautifully so incredibly so and you know I was very much you know more whimsical and he used to say like you're just like flitting around like a little you know butterfly um, this energy and he really appreciated that about me although he probably found that incredibly annoying at times and I really appreciated his ability to get things done to really you know set a course of action and go for it where you know and and I feel like this is a part of um, you know how he is intending to support me it's like we have dreams and many of us have these really beautiful dreams and this beautiful work that we came here to do and this beautiful loving healing energy that we came here to share and because of our wounds because of our trauma because of our fears we we are resistant or we have we, we hesitate taking the steps or taking the action to manifest our divine creation to manifest our gifts and bring them forth and and so this Virgo full moon really wants that for us really wants that for us and 
And she can be, this Virgo energy can be the taskmaster. So where are you called to clean things up in your life? What, you know, what areas of your personal life, perhaps your home, perhaps a closet, the garage, whatever, where are you called to clean things up? And first and foremost, your physical, your physical vessel as well. So this is a really great time for, you know, a detox, a cleanse, um, to implement new um, physical activity. I've been... Um, actively doing more yoga this week and I can tell you my body is really grateful for that and what I made the connection to because I've been it's almost as if energetically on a cellular um, level I it, there has been this freezing in time and this freezing in time goes right back to the day that my beloved transitioned. It was sudden, it was unexpected, and nothing has been the same since. And although life has gone on, you know, 14 months later, life is still going on, you know, the, the years, the, you know, we've gone through the first year, we're into the second year, and yet, and, and, you know, Things, you know, what needed to get done, what's had to get done, what's had to be done has been. And yet still within the experience is that, you know, that trauma of that time. And I felt that a part of, well, what came to me this week is that a part of the way that we hold ourselves back. So I'm just sharing my story. We all have stories with a similar undercurrent, with a similar en energy at the core of it, the wound, the trauma, the pain. Ways that we humans like to resist is we like to avoid or we don't want to face it or, you know, we stop doing physical activity and so the body sits, sits or lays down or, or kind of um, stagnates in this energy and it's really up to us and it's going to be up to each of you in your own experience to determine what feels right for you. If you listen to your body though and take action on what your body needs from you, your body is going to light up and really, really, you know, like where you're feeling pain and I've been feeling a lot of physical pain, you know, particularly behind my heart. And this is like, you know, I would say this has pretty much been for the last 14 months or so. And it's, I don't, I feel like it's more of a lot of times what we're feeling, particularly as an empath, is from outside of ourselves. Like it's not all the time. Sometimes it can be from other people tuning into our energy or perhaps the energy that they, you know, send our way, the things that are being said, whatever. And so we really, and that can be, um, that can be a difficult understanding and realization. And that can contribute to this, like not wanting to move. Oh my gosh. Like not knowing what to do, not wanting to move, holding on to it because, what would I do if it wasn't there? <coughs> right, something cleared out there. So let me just have a sip here. So listen to your body and allow your body to guide you through movement and breath. And it doesn't have to be anything formal. You know, my I am as a yoga instructor, I know how to put a yoga class together and all of that, and I know how to do it for certain um, different areas of the body, uh, different um, organs of the body, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The practices I've been doing this week are not set up as a traditional yoga class would be, because I'm completely in the moment with the breath and breathing into the tension to support the release of the tension because it doesn't feel good. 
And regardless of what other people may be projecting or, you know, sending our way, we have, with the awareness, we have the ability and power to, you know, completely dissolve that through the energy of love, self-love, unconditional love, the love that supports the evolutionary journey of our eternal soul which, you know, when breath stops moving in this body, is going to be done. We are going to, you know, return home to source. And yet source is within us all in this experience throughout this lifetime. So let's try that again with the heart. Jeez. Already 20 plus minutes into this. So nice deep breathing. different than the first time around. Did you feel that? Much lighter, much <coughs> Jeez. much more willing to open. Much more willing to be heard. And a message came through earlier to I received was starve the fears because there's this whole collective whew, geez, we're running out of toilet paper and seriously I'm in a bit of a I'm not really in a panic yet honestly we're down to the last roll <laughs> like am I gonna find toilet paper when I leave the house and need it um, so there's this whole like energy of like just lunacy and this is another, you know, energy we can feel with this moon just crazy. And with the moon being in Virgo and Virgo being one who can be very much in the head, very much about the detail, very much about the go, 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 go. This, you know, it feels like there's this rising of um, the current. And yet what I'm feeling, what I'm being guided to say is yet you are the you are the, uh, I'm seeing the buoy, you know, those buoys that for the boats out on, in the ocean, in the lakes and stuff like that, those buoys, you are that, you know, you have the ability, not that you're the calm, you have the ability to ride this out. And the choice is really up to you. How do you want to ride it out? Do you want to ride it out in the fear? In the uh, chaos? Oh my gosh. Like, um, the world is, uh, what's, the sky is falling. Chicken little. Chicken little. <laughs> Chicken little. May as well say it three times. Um, do you want to be that energy? Or can you breathe into your experience? Breathe into everything that you're receiving and determine that, you know, decide for yourself what stays and what goes. And, you know, love grows. So starve the fears, feed them love. Keep feeding, keep, sh uh, you know, keep giving yourself space to really refine, to really modify where necessary your, your practices of self-love. 
And that was a big message that was coming through earlier when I was connecting with my guy was this, you know, that we are, you know, we were two hearts that really beat as one. What was so beautiful, those qualities about him that really drew me were also those qualities about that I possess. And sometimes we have, we're, it's so easy for us, especially with him, it was so easy when in his presence to be and feel and, um, you know, just to see love. And yet, why is there resistance for us to see ourselves in the same light, to see ourselves with the same delight that perhaps you know, others, how others see us or how we see others. So I just feel guided here to connect with the angelic realms. No surprise there, really. And let's just pull a couple cards. I've got a few decks here. And don't forget, I will be doing um, some interactive reads and they will be shared on um, here on my YouTube channel. Thank you to all who have been commenting and liking and subscribing it's we're we're over the 500 mark now i think the last i saw there were 513 subscribers so you know 483 more to go and i will be able to do live streams here oh this is beautiful um the angel of emergence and this is so gorgeous and what i'm really drawn to is the color of the butterflies the lit up third eye and, and the flowers here at the heart space. And this is the purity of the heart, that beautiful energy of unconditional love. And, and, you know, that is the most beautiful thing about each and every one of us is the purity of our heart. And it's really, I feel with spring coming here, and I know it's autumn in the Southern Hemisphere, with spring on the horizon here in the Northern Hemisphere, there's, there's like this playful energy, right? Like I was outside in my bare feet yesterday just because, I mean, it was only seven degrees out, but still, you know, it's, it's a Canadian thing. When the warmer weather comes, like you can feel this season of rebirth. The days are getting longer. Um, you know, the sun's coming up earlier and staying up later. It's amazing. And this is what this energy, this, this time that you are called to journey within supports this energy of emergence. And you know, it's a slow and steady process is what I'm hearing. Nothing, nothing truly happens just overnight. It's time for the real you to emerge. And the real you emerges, here's the other card, the real you emerges through the energy of love through the energy of compassion. This feels very, um, you know, angelic, divine mother, Quan Yin, as well as Archangel Michael. And then we have this to complement. We have this goddess to complement the angel of emergence, the goddess of knowledge. And again, where is, it looks like the earth being held at the heart, or perhaps it's the cosmos being held at the heart. That's what I feel it is right now. It's the universe being held at the heart and pouring out loving energy on Mother Earth. We see here and really <clears throat> trusting the wisdom within your own heart, trusting you have gifts and abilities and you have unique gifts and abilities. I feel like this is also speaking about voice because there are, you know, the blue here as well as the blue behind the butterflies. It is about honoring your truth, finding your voice, and speaking from your heart space. This is what, this is, <clears throat> this is what's really beautiful, because we, we, frequency, vibration, when speaking from your heart, it's felt. People don't have to agree with you and what you're saying. They don't even have to like you. They can 
feel it. Truth can be felt as well as, you know, dishonesty, lack of integrity can also be felt. So, you know, speak from your heart and trust. And, and she's got a lit up third eye as well here. She's got a flame in there. And that's really speaking to me of this flame of creativity. There's something that wants to be born through you. And this Virgo full moon really wants that for you too. And she's saying, trust, pay attention. First and foremost, pay attention to your body because it's through your body that all is received, all is cleared, all is healed, right? Pay attention to your body. The message on this card, start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. Exactly. Starting to apply what you already know. And perhaps, again, this is coming back to circling back around to what you know works for you. For example, yoga, deep breathing, meditation, journaling, automatic writing, reading, nature walks, drawing, cooking, creating, creating. Showing yourself love each and every day. Being there consistently for yourself. So let's tune into one of my favorite guides. I perhaps have a new one nowadays. <laughs> oh my gosh, Archangel Michael. This is so perfect. Oh. Number seven, I am golden light integrity. This is so perfect. Standing, you know, we're each so beautiful. We're each so beautiful. And it wasn't easy for us to agree to come to Earth, to Mother Earth, to Gaia, to have this experience. It wasn't easy, and it hasn't been easy, particularly for those who feel that they are here to support the expansion of human consciousness, who feel that they are here to support the healing of humanity, as well as, you know, the, the, the earth herself. The earth is going to evolve, <laughs> you know, beyond our third dimensional experience. The third dimensional is like earth school, and it's tough. It's tough, and we've been like beaten down, perhaps abused. We've been used, you know, and perhaps we, oh, for sure, not perhaps, for, we've done the same, right? We've done the same. And now it's about coming to this place that is about choosing love, choosing love over your fears. If you feel that you missed out on anything in life, if you feel like, you know, um, people weren't there for you as you would have hoped or as you would have thought, as expected that they should be, it's now time to be there for yourself, to let that go, to let that go, to be there for yourself, to trust in your voice, to trust in the love that you are eternally. And, you know, it, it's taken many lifetimes for, for so many human souls to get to this point in their, in our collective, as well as our personal evolutionary path, where we remember we are the golden light, the Christed light. That's what that feels like. And, you know, I was mentioning the flame in the third eye here, look at that, standing confidently on the earth, grounded, allowing herself to be seen in all of her naked glory, in all of her, you know, all of the ebbs and flows of her essence and all the curves and swerves of her physical body, his, hers, you know what I'm saying? It's just really allowing yourself to be seen. And this is just so Virgo energy and creating passionately from this space, living passionately from this space. And passion just isn't about the energetic connection to people feel. 
when they get together for some action, right? It's about passion for life, a zest for life, of putting your passion into everything you do. I am golden light and integrity. Again, what it you'll feel it. When you're in alignment with truth, you will feel it. When you're out of alignment with your truth, and, and it's the same for receiving, right? What we're receiving, what we're what we're receiving, we take that into our experience. Does it resonate as truth? Does it resonate with me, my heart? Does it resonate with you? And so bringing ourselves more and more into alignment with the energy of integrity on our path of service through our physical body, because that's the number seven. Seven always represents to me the physical body. So listening to your body. Working with your breath. Let's get one more from Archangel Michael. Oh my God. The Poetics of Light, Creation, number 25, 7. Everything is created through you. And even, you know, situations that we don't understand um, on, uh, you know, in that we don't understand why people die, why, you know, life's cut short, these kind of things. What's really important for us to understand that everything happens as that soul needed it to happen. You know, everything, and it's for, everything that we experience here, however we label it, however we judge it, is in service to our eternal soul. You came here to create something beautiful. You're incredibly powerful. And it's really the time to work your power for the greatest good and to work your power in your life to support your poetics of light, to support your dreams of heaven on earth, to support your Creation in service to all that lives, to the greatest and highest good, to the source, the creator of each and every one of us. It's the same. We speak different. We have different understandings. That's okay. It's I'm going back to that integrity card. I am golden light. Integrity. We don't have to like everyone. We're not going to resonate with everything. We're not going to vibe with everyone. Integrity, though, is really, you know, the ability to respect. And this is a part of self-love, self-respect, self-compassion. And I know that that may sound egocentric or some may say, oh, that's egocentric. She's talking all about the self. Yet, if you don't take responsibility for yourself, if I don't take responsibility for myself, my actions, my words, all of that, who else is going to? And how are my dreams going to come true if I'm not even taking responsibility to birth them? Same for everyone. Oh, okay. Let's just, we're going to finish this one up. And we're going to get some guidance from the Journey of Love Oracle. And I feel like, too, we've had two cards from each of the other decks. Um, so I'm offering a distant circle, Virgo full moon circle. If you're interested in that, um, it can be accessed through my Facebook page or you can 
you can, I'm going to just pull another one or you can um, simply hit the donate button here at the top of, <laughs> oh my gosh, here at the top of this YouTube channel and um, exchange for that event is 4444. It is going to be amazing. It already has begun to be amazing and um, we're beginning to gather. So the two cards that came out here, Distant Shores and Legacy of Light. This is a number 18, which is a nine. And what I'm feeling is that, um, what I'm really feeling like this is a cycle is complete. And perhaps a life in physical form it has completed. And yet, everything that came before, every single thing that brought us to this now moment supports us in bringing forth our legacy of light and we do this by the light of the moon that shadowy 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 moon <laughs> remembering that <coughs> oh my gosh <clears throat> another big throat one a lot of um truth speaking a lot of shifting for a lot of people in this space. Standing up for yourself, advocating for yourself, and again, doing so from a loving, a self-respectful, a self-loving, compassionate space. I feel like the legacy of light is the reminder, a part of the legacy of light is the reminder that we are loved and supported beyond this illusionary realm of existence by those who have come before, who are like our, our squad, our, our, our homeboys and girls on the other side. Um, and this is about remembering that you also, I'm really guided to the pink and um, uh, the pink, the purple and green here. And it's really funny because I'm guided to wear this for the last couple of days, which I haven't worn in quite some time. This is about the master healer, the healer that you are, the natural born healer, because you have all the gifts and abilities to heal any wound within your personal experience and your ability to use your gifts work your magic on you supports collective healing and supports your ability to birth your legacy of light, your dreams come true here in this lifetime. <laughs> Honestly, could they get more clear? Spirit sometimes just isn't subtle. And yet sometimes we need it as clear as this to remember who we are, why we came, and this Virgo full moon is an excellent, magical place to start. So beautiful souls, please do like, comment, and share. I trust these messages have felt loving and supportive, and if nothing else, perhaps a little entertaining for you. Um, and thank you for being a part of my journey, truly. I'm really incredibly appreciative of you. I'm, um, I really respect and honor our connection and it is indeed a great pleasure to be sharing time and space here, um, in service to our eternal soul's evolution beyond time and space. So as this Virgo full moon rises upon us all, I trust that you will be good to yourself Listen to your beautiful heart and trust where you are being guided to grow. I see you. I feel you. I love you. Thank you. You want to work more one-on-one -on -one with me? You can check out my website. You can send me an email. All links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I truly appreciate you. Until next time. Peace.